All right, guys. Thank you all so much for you know jumping on our uh, team huddle um, for Sunday evening and just at what the schedule is going to look like for the rest of the month. So I'm going to I'm hoping to get a getting started training Zoom on this Tuesday because we have several new consultants that are, that have already started or that are starting this week. And so I would like to do a getting started on Tuesday. If you can't be on, that's a-okay. It will be recorded. And in fact, I'm gonna record it and I'm gonna pin it at the top of our team page. So when you have a new consultant sign on, you can send them to that um, training right away they don't have to wait for getting started and they'll get you know get the basic information that they need but uh, instead of me doing it to nobody i would if we can get a couple people on to do the getting started training on tuesday that would be awesome so um, if you have new consultants on your team invite them to jump on on tuesday and it'll be the same id but i'll send a little flyer out tomorrow but it's just some basic information and um, for those of you guys who are growing your team now, you might want to jump on or watch the recording just to get a refresher on what, you know, we need, how we need to get new consultants, new consultants started training. But anyway, thank you guys so much for being on tonight. Got a special treat for everyone tonight. And we're going to let Sherry um, pretty much tell her story about how she went from... DM maintenance and you know being in DM maintenance for um, quite some time to turning the page and actually going into area manager qual um, because there was a big difference from you know from one month to the next month and so I thought it'd be um, really inspiring and empowering for Sherry to share her story so that everyone could hear what, you know, how her mindset changed, how her activity changed and, you know, what exactly, you know, she was thinking and she was doing. And so Sherry, we're just going to jump right into that. So first of all, you know, I just want to say, you know, Sherry was DM maintenance for many, many months. You know, she went from doing 2,500, consistently she's always very consistent about doing her 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 brick on the 2500 and she then she jumped in September to 5900 in October she went to 9000 and in November she went to a little over a, a, or halfway a, almost uh, 11,500 and so she was in AM qual so you can see you know she didn't do it like overnight but she did make some changes in her business to to reach that level to get into area manager qual so and for those of you guys who don't know sherry sherry is an extremely busy travel agent like she probably works her travel job i would bet no less than 60 hours a week if not more she pretty much lives and breathes her travel job and um, because it's her own business and if she's not working it guess what it doesn't it doesn't work right sherry <laughs> right. and and she is also a um a, just an all-around amazing athlete she always finds the time to get her exercise in because that keeps her strong and keeps her able to work a 60 hour week plus work her argon business so i guess the first question that i'm going to shoot out there for you sherry is so what was the mindset change for you from like September, October to November? What were you thinking? Wow. By the way, Kim, thank you. I feel like, thank you for all that. <laughs> well, you're beautiful. We love that, you. That good talk. Yeah. So um, what changed was all of you actually um, inspired me. I mean, really just watching the new people come on, um, Stacy, Sarah, um, all the new consultants coming on and doing so well and just hitting it running. Now, Jillian, you too, I'm sorry, I'm leaving somebody out. But, um, and then, you know, Brenda going halfway, you know, to region, Renee and Sarah earning bonuses, Tara earning bonuses, Stacy earning bonuses, I mean, and then, um, gosh, Renee and Sarah won the, the challenge um for the three-way call so i'm like oh i've got to get three-way calls so i'm gonna do this you know so you just get so pumped up by all of you 
um, just listening to tons of sound clouds, like really seriously, a lot of sound clouds. Um, I've, you know, could I listen to some over and over again, I would save them. Um, also, um, tuning in obviously as much as I possibly could and um, just changing the way I did things. So I decided, I think that's the, the biggest thing is that I was like, I've got to stop messing around. Like I'm going to be 60 <laughs> next year. So it's like, if I'm going to make this business work, I need to work it. So that's really, you know, so my decide, I think I had a decided heart, but I was inspired by all of you and so many people. Um, I just had to be intentional. I had to be on purpose. I had to be consistent. I had to get organized, um, focused, <laughs> all the things that I'm not really good at. <laughs> um, I don't know if you want me to go on and on about those types of things, but well, those that you answered it exactly. And so the next question is what changed in your activity? Um, because, well, let me just say one thing because you can have a decided heart and you can have a change in your mindset, but if your activity doesn't match that, then, you know, your volume's not going to grow. So you have to, you, both of those have to change. And so what was right. it in your activity? That, what did you do differently? You're right. Um, I was very consistent. Um, I, I'm trying to be now and, and, you know, a lot of things had to fall into place like this last month too. You know, there are things that work in your favor. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, as we all know. So there's just a few things that ended up happening. Um, in November, I had a, a great, I mean, several events, but one was really a great event. Um, just, just over the top, the best one I've ever had. And I think that I decided to keep it fun. So the events are not as stressful anymore because I'm just like, it's just all about getting together and getting to know people, develop relationships, um, share the products that I love and I'm passionate about, share my passion about being healthy and, you know, growing old, being healthy and <laughs> to, you know, just share that with them and just tell them that they need it and be fearless. Um, I really started asking a lot of strangers, you know, take a peek. I, I don't give out as many samples anymore. Um, I lead with a business, um, but I still, you know, I need business builders. I still don't really have, um, you know, a lot of business builders that are really building their business. But I did like every night, um, I would write down, you know, what I needed to do the next day. And every morning I would write another list and I would put the top five things that needed to be done. And that's also with my travel business. Like this is the top five priorities and then the top five for, for Arbonne. And then I also did the most difficult thing first. <laughs> so that was huge for me. I was, you know how you like, oh, procrastinate things that aren't that much fun. It's going to take too much time. I don't really like doing this. So, I, and then all of a sudden it's, you know, seven o'clock at night and I still haven't done it. So I really would do it first unless I got interrupted and then I would reward myself. So if I got something, you know, really difficult and challenging out of the way, then I would go ahead and say, okay, I get an extra 15 minutes of our <laughs> You know, just I played little games. I wrote everything down. I have so many pieces of paper and things in my office. It's ridiculous. The people that come in and clean my office must think, what is she doing? Because I just leave all these notes all over my desk. Um, but I prior prioritize. I prior prior. Why can I say that? <laughs> prioritized. That's not right. No, prioritized. You did. You did. Prioritized. <laughs> I haven't even had anything to drink. Um, but I did, I prioritized everything um, in orders of that way. And then, um, you know, and, then, and I um, would share it with somebody. So whether it be Renee or Brenda or even Ellis, um, I was like, I have to get this done so I'm not available. Or, you know, I would try to make that really clear with Ellis. Um, but really it was just about writing it all down, prioritizing the list. And, and you know, the other thing is I, I listened to a SoundCloud. I think it was a Donna Johnson. Um, I love her SoundClouds, by the way. And every Saturday, the last one, this last Saturday was really good. I don't know if everybody listened to it, but anyhow, one of, in one of hers, she said, um, 
you know, if you had a part-time job working 15 hours a week, like right now, somebody could be working a part-time job to be making some money to pay their bills or Christmas bills or holiday gifts or whatever. Um, so that's 15 hours. So roughly, right? That's what somebody would probably do. So I, she said, you have to put in your shift with Arbonne. If you're going to make your business work, in other words, it, you do, if you work your business, it does work. And, and the last few months for me proved that. So I know that it does work if I work. Um, but I, I have to put in my shift. So it was like, you know, if I don't get, if I don't put in the shift, I'm not getting paid. So, and with my travel agency business, the same thing. It's all on commission. I mean, if I don't do my job, if I don't try to sell travel, if I don't work it, then I don't get paid. And that's how I pay my bills. So I'm like, why am I treating Arbonne differently? Um, so I started looking at that definitely differently um, and realizing, you know, I've got to make this, I want to make this business work. I, it is my plan A um, and in the future and I believe in it and I'm passionate about it. And, you know, I just I have to stop messing around is what I kept telling myself. What are you waiting for? You know, GTC is in May this year. You've got to have these big goals because, you know, and, and, you know, don't say, oh, it's the end of the month, you know, try to get all that head trash out of my mind for December, you know, it's, you know, you just don't, you know, I'll begin next year. I'll do this next, you know, I don't know. We all do that, right? In some ways. So I just have an urgency, I think, a little bit more of an urgency. Wow, Sherry. I mean, you, you said a ton there. And, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know me, I'm all over the place. No, I hope everybody on here is, 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 is as inspired by you as I am because you can really sense the change, you know, in the mindset, in the decision, in the urgency that you have now for your business. And I'm just, you know, and what I, what I want to share with everybody on here, when you decide that you will make Arbonne work, Arbonne will work for you. I mean, Stacy just texted me a picture of her paycheck today, and I, I, she was like, oh my gosh, and I'm like, well, absolutely, you have been working your business. You earned that. I mean, it is, when you work your business, and we all know, we don't, we, none of us work Arbonne full time, but when you put in your time, like Sherry says, when you put in your time, there is payoff for that, and the thing is, the the time that you put in your business now at the levels that you are now is really, you know, it's, it's more difficult. It's a more difficult mind game. It's more difficult because as you work up through the levels, up through the management levels, you know, we, you always, we always hear Cecilia say this, you know, I can't remember the exact quote, you know, at a district manager, you're know, like, is it really worth it? Is, is, is all this I'm doing really worth it? And then when you get to the area manager level, you know, there's another one, another one. And then when you get to the top, when you get to RVP and MVP, you start to say, I'm not worth it because you're getting all of this in. I mean, you know, you're, you're getting, but you worked hard initially to get your business off the ground. It's just like any, if you went and opened up a shoe store, boutique, whatever. I mean, you got to put a lot of hours in initially before you're going to see that, you know, that payoff. And the same thing is with your um, Arbon business. You got to put some time and effort in initially, but if you keep working at it consistently, man, when you get to those top levels, and you will if you keep working your business consistently, consistency consistently and that's what sherry's seeing now the consistent effort that she's putting in is really paying off um it, you know for her right now because she's you know so close to finishing uh area manager so the next question sherry that i wanted to ask you was about your sponsoring you touched on it a little bit but about your sponsoring mindset now well, I definitely lead with the business. Um, very seldom do I, unless it's a friend and they're expressing a concern about losing weight or something like that, then of course you talk the products. But if I'm meeting someone and I just, and I'm very aware, I'm, my, I'm listening so much better. I really believe that. And it's huge to listen more than you talk uh, or more than you speak um, and hear what people are saying. And then you, you kind of like, huh, 
she's pretty much asking me to ask her. <laughs> so you just, you know, and then you just wait for that opportunity. But I, I'm really asking a lot of young people and I haven't had that. I mean, I did, you know, sign up one really fairly young person, but um, who's deciding not to do the Arbonne business right now. But anyhow, not now, maybe later. But I, I, I have been asking quite a few young people because I'm in areas like when I'm working out, I run into all these young people. So I just, you know, I can hear them and, you know, listening to them. And I just, I, I'm just not afraid to ask them. I think it's more difficult for me to ask a friend or someone I really know than to ask a stranger because, you know, I don't know why, but so I try to be just bring it up in conversation and I don't think about it very long. I just jump in and say, hey, would you like to take a peek at this? And a lot of times, you know, I never hear back from these people. So you just, you know, never know how that's gonna happen. But I, I'm just not, I've decided to just, you know, leave with the business and ask, I guess is the best I can say that, but. <laughs> and that's um, what, that's what we hear all the time on, you know, the sound clowns and the trainings, you know, that we're hearing, you know, the best product we have is the business opportunity. And so we must lead with, with that because what we know, and even when people sign up as a consultant, and they later on decide that, you know, maybe the business is not for them, you know, because it's not for everybody and that's okay. But your consultants will be the best consumers on your team. You know, your, 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 you know, your consumer consultants and your business builders, they're all the, the biggest consumers because they see the real value in the Arbonne products and in the Arbonne philosophy, you know, regarding the products. And so leading with the business first is huge in growing your business. And so, and if they don't want to join the business then they end up being generally a preferred client. So it's always great. You know, just the best, the best way to grow, you grow your business is to lead with the business like Sherry is. I know Sherry boxes me, you know, almost daily. I love it. Don't, don't think I love, I love hearing where you guys are and what you're doing. I mean, it's just, you know, it, it's empowering to me because if you guys are out there asking a lot of people and maybe I haven't asked anybody today, I'm like, well, duh, I got to get off my tush and I've got to ask some people. So I love it when you guys write, but she, and she's telling me who she asked to join her business today, today, today. And we all know it's a, it's a, you know, it's a timing and it's a numbers game because you know, there are more than just us out there. And then everybody who's going to on our team, who's going to listen to the recording. There's more than us out there who want to live the lifestyle that we live, who want to have the dreams that we have, who will love the products that we love. It, we're just not a select few. There are thousands and thousands and thousands of people out there that would love to live this life, would love to be an Arbonne consultant, but yet nobody has asked them yet. And so it's up to us to ask them. And so Sherry is right on the mark. I mean, when you meet somebody who you can just tell by what they're saying because you're listening, ask them to join your team. It doesn't matter what their answer is going to be, but you just need to jump out there and ask them. And as Sherry says, become fearless with it all. All right. Uh, I get lots of no's too. Yeah. Way more no's now. And that, that makes me happy though, because that means that I'm working it. So. And what was, I know some of you guys probably listened to the Ashley Strong. Um, she did a training and she talked about how many no's she got before she became a regional vice president. She actually wrote them down, wrote down the people's names who told her no. And I think it was, I can't even remember, but it was like a thousand or something names that she wrote down of people who told her no, that they weren't interested in, in joining the business. And once she got past that thousand mark, she was, she was an RVP, you know? And, um, and I guess now she's an, is she a nation now? I think, I'm not real sure. I think she's a nation now. So, so yeah. So the more no's you get just means the more yeses are coming your way because you're asking a lot of people to join your business. All right, Sherry, that is all the questions I have for you. Can you think of anything else about your, um, you know, your, 
your journey from district maintenance into area qual that you would like to share with everyone? No, I just, um, you know, I just keep changing things up and, and listening to the sound clouds, I think is really big because you get different things speak to different people, right? So what speaks to me may not speak to Renee or Tara or Anna or Kelly or whoever, Stacy. So you find things, you know, ideas that you think are going to work for, for you. So I think that's really a big deal. And I have to, oh, and personal development. I forgot about that part. Oh my goodness. So reading, reading, reading. I have to read way more. Um, and sometimes I just go to bed so exhausted when I go to bed that I just, I'll like, I fall asleep with my phone in my hand reading. <laughs> but, um, so that's really important because the other day, um, you know, I have this new thing I'm doing. So I'm asking two people to join my business every day. And sometimes if it's only one, then the next day it has to be three. So I figured that's 60 this month. So if it doesn't come, you know, if I don't get the benefit out of it now, it will surely show up in January. That's my thinking anyhow, but, and I'll hopefully keep going with it. But there are days when I'm trying to make a phone call and I'm just not in it. I might've had a really bad work day and you know, I'm just not emotionally in there. So I don't, I'm sure everybody's had that before. So I don't, you know, then I, then you can text or whatever, but if I go and read or I listen to something or I turn on some music or my favorite song, then I get geared up again. So it makes me really excited. So this month I'm changing a little more um, too. Um, I'm going back and I'm redoing my hundred name list and I'm taking people off that, you know, are already preferred clients or whatever, or whatever. I'm just redoing it. I'm reworking it. And I'm also going back through all my 40 faces. So I'm just going back and I wrote notes all over it. And it's like, oh my gosh, I never like followed up with this girl. I'm finding all these little nooks and crannies. So um, that's just another um, thing that I, I think has helped me because there's been a couple people that I have last month that became preferred clients because I looked them up again. So anyhow, but it's, you know, I just, I have to tell you last month was the most fun I've ever had in our Bob. I, I, I just loved it. I, it, it was so much fun. I got up every day and I, you know, and some days were better than others, but I just felt really good about it and felt like, oh my goodness, I'm finally, you know, <laughs> feel like I'm making progress. <laughs> but um, anyhow, so that's it. I love it. Love you guys. You guys all inspire me, really. Each and every one of you. I love what, listening to your posts, listening to you, you know, watching everything you do. You all have all these little things that are so different. So we all bring different things to the table. And I love that because we're better together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Does anybody have any questions or anything they want to ask Sherry in particular? I do. <laughs> Go for it, Renee. Um, so when you're asking total strangers to join your business, do you follow up with some sort of a video? Do you like text them something like the Arbonne video about, you know, the business or anything? Or like, what are you using to? Well, I'm trying to get them to meet. I'm trying to get them to meet me actually. Um, and, you know, so I do it different ways. I'm just like, hey, you, I think you'd be really good at this. You know, would you like to take a peek at this business? And, and then say, tell me a little bit more about it. And, you know, like in 10 words, you know, or something you said what Arbonne really is and what it means to you. Um, but they don't, you know, sometimes I don't even get their number because they're just like, oh yeah, well give me your card and I'll text you. And I'm like, well, why don't you, you know, give me your number and I'll text you. Then we are on our contact list and I can send you something, you know, like you just said. Um, but many times it's just, you know, hey, I'm available. Like I have all these people that were scheduled last week, they canceled, but they're still in touch with me. Um, so I try to say, let's get together and just have a cup of coffee or a glass of wine. And let me tell you a little bit more about it. I feel like that works better for me than the video. Um, just telling my story to them and, and seeing how it could be good for them based on, you know, what their interests are and what they like to do. Um, but the video, I think the videos are all very helpful. You know, it's just, I don't know. I don't get a lot of great response when I send somebody a video. <laughs> so um that's just me personally but i think they're great tools absolutely and that is one thing renee i'm so glad you asked that question because 
it, br it brings up the point. We all do different parts of Arbon better. You know, you know, we're not we're not all good at everything. And so, really, what I have come to learn over the last several years is that do what you do best, do what works for you best. No matter what everybody else is out there doing and what we're training on, I mean, try it and try to incorporate it into your business. But if you're always trying to do something that you don't enjoy or that you don't get good results at, you're not gonna enjoy your Argonne business. But I know each one of you have great talents in some particular area of Argonne. And so focus on that, focus on what, what you do best. And like Sherry, the way she gets people to join her is that face-to-face. -face. I mean, who would not sit down with Sherry Teeter for a martini? <laughs> and after she shared her heart with you and painted the vision, would you not join her? I mean, absolutely, Sherry. That is the absolute way you should do your business because, you know, I think every one of us would join you if you, sh if you shared Arbonne with us. So each one of us, find your groove, find your, you know, what you do best and how you do it best, and then do that and do a lot of it, and then sprinkle in some of these other methods, some of these other reach out methods, other techniques, and sprinkle those in, and you never know, you might be good at something else too, and you can just, you know, expand um, what you do, because the more activity we do, the more the, the more we're talking about Arbon to people, the more we're sharing the product, sharing the opportunity, the larger our businesses are going to grow, the bigger our teams are going to grow. And so um, do what you enjoy doing most, because that's what that's where people are going to see your heart. And that's where people are going to join you. And, you know, Sherry is a great example of that. So great question, Renee. Does anybody else have a, a question for Sherry? Hey, Sherry, it's Krista. And I just, you know, I hear it in your voice. It's just so much different. And I can really tell that, you know, you've, you've decided and, you know, everything that you're saying. I mean, I completely believe that you've, you've done it different. And I think the thing that you said that really just struck with me so much and Kim, you added on, you know, it was somebody that did, you know, the thousand names and Sherry, how you said, you know, you're doing two a day, you're asking two a day. So my question is, and it may sound super silly, but my big thing is, you know, asking those, those strangers, but has anybody been, and the reason I'm asking this is because anybody else that listens to this and watches this, this is just, I want you to tell us the answer to this question. So the question is, has anybody that's been a stranger looked at you and has been rude to you or like been, a, you know, totally weirded out that you asked them to take a look at your business? Has anybody just like looked at you like you're a super weirdo? Like, who is this lady? Why is she asking me to do this? Has anybody, <laughs> um, you know, been really mean to you for asking you uh, or you asking them to look at the business? No, I have to say no. No. Um, I think that I think that some of them were not genuine in the way they replied. They may have acted more interested than they really were, just because they didn't want to be rude. <laughs> but um, maybe it's just because I, you know, I have you ever walked into a room and and you're thinking, oh, this person really needs Arbonne, right? And then you watch them for just a minute. You kind of observe what they're doing because usually it's like somebody that's working somewhere, you know, and you're like, you know, hey, do you like your job? That kind of thing. And I had somebody the other day at Office Max and I had been going there for quite some time, you know, and she's really good at what she does. But when I asked her, you know, what, you know, do you like your job and da da da, da and all this and, and she was just, I was like, oh, I don't want to ask this girl. <laughs> because she's real negative mm -hmm. and so you know so more so for me uh -huh. you know i thought they would be good and then i'm like no really this person's not gonna be good but probably i don't know i could be wrong but no um it's a good question though fortunately not because i do take things personally so if someone was kind of mean to me <laughs> i might cry no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> And the reason I asked that, because I think it's just so like, you know, we get in our own way. Like I know for me, like I'm like this 99 on a scale of emotional 100, like, oh, I don't want to bear my feelings. Like, you know, if they, but it's just like, it's just so what? Because in my head, I'm just like, you know, we just got to get to that thousand, right? And by the time we're at that thousand, you know, we're at regional vice president level. And then look at 
how many people we've helped along the way and they're, you know, they're working on their thousand, you know, so just really um, appreciate everything you've shared. Just so, so real, you know, and, and just, uh, just loved it. Love you. Oh, thank you, Krista. I love you too. I wish I could just find um, everyone that's on this panel here right now, these little, the little, what is it called? The squares that show. Um, it looks like we're all Brady Bunch. Brady Bunch. Or the Hollywood, the Hollywood the squares. The Hollywood squares. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're all famous, right? Um, but, you know, don't you wish you could have one like this right now that you were all on my team? You know what I mean? Don't you wish you could find people just like every one of you yeah. um, that work and do their business consistently and love with their heart? And so, anyhow, that's my goal. Yeah. And you will, that, that's the whole key about it. You will, if you were, you know, I'm coming up on my 10 year anniversary in Arbonne. So wow. in January, I will be 10 years in Arbonne. And if you read the direct sales network marketing books, I mean like the Eric Worre and all of those books, you will find in each one of they, those books, they say, if you work your business consistently for 10 years, you will reach the top of your company. And now we know many people reach the top of the company quicker than 10 years. And in fact, you know, though, when those books were written, that was the average time. But if you read books, I'm sure books that are going to be written today and on forward, they're going to break that down because they're going to make that smaller that, you know, you can reach the top of your company in two, three, four, and five, five years or less. And the reason is because of technology. I mean, that's the difference. You know, when I started my business, we didn't have this kind of technology um, where you could reach out to and have teams all over and be connected with them. And so that is the difference. And that's why we're seeing so many um, people, promote, you know, within, you know, one year, two year, three years, you know, to the top of the company. And it's because they utilize technology very well. And, um, and so it's possible for all of us to reach the top of Arbonne in less than 10 years, you know, because we have such good technology to be able to do that now. So, um, but you know, it's a, it's a, it's a proven fact. You work your business consistently, you're going to reach the top of the company and by being consistent, which means, you know, what Sherry talked about, you know, focus time, it's, you know, you treat it like a part-time job. You make it a priority in your life, just like everything else. You know, if you have a, a, a full-time job, your family, your church, you know, it just, it's up there equal with everything. It's not more important, but it's you put equal um, equal priority on it and 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 do some work and get it done and if you do that consistently you will reach the top of the company and um, and I'm proof to you know I'm, I'm proof for that and and you know you can see all the people in our nation who are you know rising to the top of this company and I know some of you guys talked to Amy Chappell uh, personally, and Amy Chappell will tell you it's because I worked my business. You know, she's a full time and tra worked full time and traveled a lot in her job. And she reached national vice president in, I think it's three years, two or three years. And, but she did it because she worked her business. She made it a priority and worked her business very consistently over those years time. And she talked to a lot of people. And, and that's just what it takes. So each one of you guys can have a Hollywood squares or Brady Bunch squares, whatever you want to call it, a team, just keep working your business and they will, and it will happen. And, you know, and I'll say this again, the only person that I knew on here before I started my Arbonne business is Laura Lockwood. And after Laura Lockwood, you know, all of this came. So, you know, that one person can change your business, that one person. So you just got to keep out there and ask and ask and just keep asking and just keep asking and your team will grow and um, you'll be the top of the company. And it's not so much about the money or being at the top of the company. It's about how many lives that we change. You know, because because of my ripple effect, your ripple effect reaches out to even hundreds and hundreds and thousands of more people. And that is just truly um, the most inspiring and empowering thing about this business, because we don't do it 
to make money, although the paycheck's great. I mean, the paycheck helps, but truly it's about all the lives that we change. I mean, because we all enjoy this so much. You want the people that you love or the people that you think you would like to hang out with. You want them doing this with you so you can spend the time with them. I mean, this, you know, it's an incredible business and an incredible opportunity, the relationships and the money's not so bad. So um, anyway, it is, Super exciting to Laura. think about where we're going. I see Laura put a message on there. I don't know what she said. Does anybody see what she said? Well, let's see. She said that she oh. can't she can't show her face for whatever reason because someone's using her computer or something. <laughs> she says she loves each one of us. So and that's oh, it. we love you too, Laura. I know we love you, Laura. But anyway, I just couldn't be more grateful than, than I am for each one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for getting on tonight. I'm going to really work to try to get that getting started training for Tuesday. May change the day if we get more people on on a different day, but I'll be sending you guys out some messages and see what we can get shored up. But Sherry, thank you so much for sharing your story. You are well, amazing. We all just love you. And um, thank you guys, all of you for jumping on tonight. And um, oh, one thing I wanna say about December, you know, it is December 9th. Do what you do best the rest of this month. You know, it's busy for all of us. So use whatever reach out methods that you do best and do those. And do ask people to join your business this month because people are looking for something new in January. And December is a great time to get them signed on so that they're ready to just, you know, fly out and, you know, get into uh, qual qualifications in January, if not in December. So um, yeah, December is a great month to have people because people are thinking ahead and they're, a lot of people are wanting to try something new, add something to their life. So do ask people to join your business now. And don't forget about our 30 days to healthy living. Now is the time to get those people on board for the January 2nd and the January 7th, 30 days to healthy living. So really, I mean, to me, that's what I do best. Lo love it. Yes. Yep. There you go. She has that on at you know, that the, your, your flyer may. So, you know, that's what I do best. I share the 30 days to healthy living best. That's what I, I do best. And so that's Renee, you're, you're, you're cracking me up. I'm cracking up because look at Laura. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Where is she? She's in San Diego. Now that's San Francisco, oh, isn't it? San Francisco. In the, background. <laughs> the Broncos played San Francisco today. Are you there? <laughs> no, I don't know what happened. I finally figured out how to get myself on the computer, on the, <laughs> <laughs> on my phone in the Golden Gate Bridge is in the background. <laughs> I love it. Technology. That is so funny. Though. I don't know how I did that. That is that's like that green screen they yeah. do on the news. <laughs> this is like a newscaster for sure. Yeah, yes. that is so funny. But anyway, so you've got like a halo too that's going around your head. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love it. No, you're you're too funny. No, <laughs> love it, love it. But anyway, 30 days to healthy living, that's what I do best. And so that's what I'm going to really be working hard is getting people in our January 2nd, January 7th. And then I'll be asking other people to join my team. You know, those are the two things that I'm really going to work hard in December. And so choose what you do best and do that and just do as much of it as you can you know, during the holiday season. So we are doing getting started on 12, 11, I think, and we'll have another team huddle on the 16th. But after that, that'll be the last one for this, for this month, because that gets in too much. The other ones get in too much to the holidays, but do know I'm available for three way calls. I'm available to do zooms with anybody that needs a zoom. Okay. Or a, or Voxer with or anything, just shoot them to me because I have time during, you know, here and there during my day, we can do it. So don't feel like that because it's the holidays that 
I'm too busy because I am not too busy. I am here to help you move your businesses forward. So if you've got somebody for a three-way call or you need an extra Zoom, let's do it because let's really close out December strong. We have AIT points that we can um, earn. Register for that trip because you do not know how much your team can explode next month or you know the next six months. And what if you didn't register for the AIT and you earned it? How sad would that be? So get on there and register for the Arbonne and Cinema trip because you have no idea one person can change your business. One person can do that. All right, that's it. That's all. We've been on here long enough tonight. Love you guys. Have a great week and we'll chat soon. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.